Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, it's Larry Ann. And Rudy. And tonight we're back to talk to you, or today, whenever you're watching this, we're back to speak to you about money again, because money is very important. And I forgot something last week, which, you know, I'll expand on this week. But this time we're going to be talking about saving your money. We're not like financial gurus or anything. We're just letting you know some stuff, tips that we've done and have been working for us. And of course, we'll be tweaking it along the way. And we're just letting you guys try it and you guys can tweak it the way you guys want it to tweak or twerk. No twerking! So, as you know, Rudy and I don't have any children yet. So we've been trying to make sure that We've been living our lives out, we've been traveling, we've been going outside of the country, doing stuff inside of the country, just making sure that by the time that we settle down and have children, we will be able to say it was good when it was just the two of us. And now it's even better with, you know, as a family's complete. And one of the things that people are confused or maybe confused, I'm not going to assume that they're confused, but sometimes they just flat out say, oh, you're going there? You got money? But the truth is, we, we're not necessarily rich. We just know how to save our bucks. Now, we are Christians, obviously. T-shirt reference. <laughs> so we give 10% of our tithes to the church. Every time we get a paycheck, 10% goes to the church. Now, just like how we do that for God, we also give 10% of our income to our savings. So the same amount that we tithe, we save. So obviously, over the course of a year, all of those savings add up. And then from our savings, we are then able to go on a vacation. And vacations are like the only things that you can save for. If you wanna save for a vacation, go ahead. If you wanna save for a car, you can. I don't see anything negative about saving. You saving money that you've worked hard on earning will get you what you want. It's almost as if you're rewarding yourselves in the future, so. And also, it's, it's, it's terrible to live paycheck to paycheck. I There's so many people who just go to work from Sunday to Sunday sometimes, and that's all they do. They don't do anything else. They don't go out to eat. They don't go to amusement parks. They just work, eat, sleep, and then shower, and then wake up. And then I personally don't think that's the way that we we're supposed to live life. There's so much more to life. There's so much more that life can offer. And why not save your money? Oh, but Mary Ann, I only earn $100 a week. Well, guess what? If you save $10 a week for 52 weeks, you have $520. You could do something with your savings. I don't care if it's a dollar, if it's $100, $500, or whatever. Learn to save your money. If it's gonna take you even four years to save up to do something special for yourself, like go to a hotel on the other side of the country or go white water rafting in wherever they do those things, then do it. You deserve it. You have worked that hard. You should go do something nice for yourself. And there's like an opposite end of that where you have people who earn money and they blow it as soon as they get their paycheck. And then they wonder why, oh, I can't get this. I wanted to, but I can't afford it. You have to do the opposite and work hard. Sometimes to figure out how to have fun by doing simple things. You can, instead of going out with friends and doing whatever you do with your friends, you can visit your friend and enjoy movies look at albums or something and like laugh. <laughs> there are ways of just enjoying yourselves and saving money so that in the future, if you wanna do like a big thing, you'll be able to afford it. And obviously vacations are not the only thing you should be saving for. I think we already said that, but I'll say it again. But you can also be saving for an emergency fund. What Rudy and I do is we invest in stocks a little bit, kind of. And we save $20 a week. We put towards emergency fund and uh, camera gear fund. Depending on our situation, our financial situation at the time, we might be pulling that money out that we have invested, leaving the money that we have earned from the stocks. So we will always be building up. We have our savings, we have our stocks, and I personally save 
money twice a year for Rudy's birthday present and Rudy's Christmas present. So we do a lot of saving in this house. And obviously your savings accounts will not always be in existence. As I said before, you might need to use the savings for an emergency, but it is always important to have allocated certain money and do it religiously so that you can always be guaranteed to have something to fall back on just in case. You never know what might happen. You might end up, God forbid, in the hospital. You might end up having a broken car. You might have to leave your place of stay, your house, and you might have to go relocate somewhere. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna go rob a bank. So figure out how to- Rob a bank's is bad. <laughs> so figure out how to, how to make sure that you're always financially secure. How to save. What he said. Okay guys, so I hope that in the year 2015 we will learn to save more and that we will be able to go on vacation more and enjoy each other more. If you're dating, go out to dinner more. Or you know what, well since you're not saving together as a couple, you save individually. Save individually. And then in the future, if you are together and married, save together. Yeah, save collectively. Learn to think together when it comes to saving. And learn to find some good deals on vacations like Groupons and Travelocity because... Did I just say Groupons? Groupon! No S. Yeah. Coupons are good. No, be afraid of them. Well, how are you going to use coupons for vacation? Coupons and deals. Alright, well, that's it. If you have any questions, any comments, if you have any testimonials, I'd love to hear them. Rudy would love to hear them. We'd love to read them together. So just let us know. And we will see you next time. Bye!